I4 Technolab Private Limited, an ISO 9001 to 2015 certified and leading sustainable IT service provider. Presence Tutorial of Smart Contract Using Solidity. The purpose of this course is to give you complete understanding and hands of experience with smart contracting using Solidity for blockchain technology. In Chapter 6, Consensus Algorithms in Blockchain, covers an overview of consensus algorithms and demystifies various consensus algorithms jargon. We are going to discuss the following topics. What is consensus algorithms? Proof of work. Proof of stake. Proof of transaction. Proof of burn. Proof of capacity. Proof of elapsed time. Uses of algorithm. The algorithms. Consensus call is a core part of any blockchain network. We know that blockchain is a distributed decentralized network that provides immutability, privacy, security, and transparency. There is no central authority present to validate and verify the transactions, yet every transaction in the blockchain is considered to be completely secured and verified. This is possible only because of the presence of the consensus protocol which is a core part of any blockchain network. Peers of the blockchain network reach a common agreement. A consensus algorithm is a procedure through which all the peers of the blockchain network reach a common agreement about the present state of the distributed ledger. A consensus algorithm is a procedure through which all the peers of the blockchain network reach a common agreement about the present state of the distributed ledger. Consensus algorithms achieve reliability in the blockchain network and establish trust between unknown peers in a distributed computing environment. Act in a distributed computing environment. Essentially, the consensus protocol makes sure that every new block that is added to the blockchain is the only version of the truth that is agreed upon by all the nodes in the blockchain. Consensus protocol consists of some specific objectives. The blockchain consensus protocol consists of some specific objectives such as coming to an agreement, collaboration, cooperation, equal rights to every node, and mandatory participation of each node in the consensus process. Thus, a consensus algorithm aims at finding a common agreement that is a win for the entire network. Rhythm of work is the original consensus algorithm in a blockchain network. In blockchain, this algorithm is used to confirm transactions and produce new blocks to the chain. With proof of work, miners compete against each other to complete transactions on the network and get rewarded. In a network, users send each other digital tokens. A decentralized ledger gathers all the transactions into blocks. However, care should be taken to confirm the transactions and arrange blocks. This responsibility bears on special nodes called miners, and a process is called mining. The main working principles are a complicated mathematical puzzle and a possibility to easily prove the solution. Proof of stake is the consensus algorithm used by cryptocurrencies to validate blocks. The system was initially suggested in 2011 and the first cryptocurrency to implement it was Peercoin in 2012. The main advantages of proof of stake are energy efficiency and security. In a proof of stake system, the creator of the next block is determined by a randomized system that is, in part, dictated by how much of that cryptocurrency a user is holding or, in some cases, how long they have been holding that particular currency. Instead of computational power, as is the case in proof of work, the probability of creating a block and receiving the associated rewards is proportional to a user's holding of the underlying token or cryptocurrency on the network.
The randomization in a proof-of-stake system prevents centralization, otherwise the richest individual in the system would always be creating the next block and richest individual in the system would always be creating the next block and consistently increasing their wealth and as a result their control of the system. The main advantage of proof-of-stake over a system such as proof-of-work is that it uses considerably less energy and as a result is more cost-effective. It is well documented that each Bitcoin transaction, which uses a proof-of-work system, can require as much electricity as an average Dutch household does in two weeks. This is both ineffective and unsustainable. In that regard proof-of-stake can be regarded as a superior consensus protocol as it requires far less electricity to run. Furthermore, as the proof-of-stake system is so much more cost-effective there is less of a need to release too many new coins as a means of incentivizing miners to maintain the network. This helps to keep the price of a particular coin more stable. The coin more stable. Different. What is proof-of-transaction? There is a currency described as Tau has introduced a completely new kind of consensus mechanism. Tau described this different solution proof of transaction. Proof of transaction is in many forms is the inverse of proof of stack. Rather than supporting a little number of associates to develop up a great scene of tokens, proof of transaction will repay enormous numbers of associates for small transactions executed with their stocks in the natural course of practicing the blockchain. How does it work? If Alice desires to transfer cryptocurrency to Bob, she has to identify the public key of Bob's digital wallet. A public key is matched to a private key and collectively obtain entrance to a digital wallet that contains cryptocurrencies. A public key is matched to a private key and collectively obtain entrance to a digital wallet that contains cryptocurrencies. The travel to cryptocurrencies. The trapdoor function makes it simple to calculate a mathematical function in one way, yet complicated to calculate in its different way. It ensures that it's almost difficult to subtract the private key if you recognize someone's public key. When transporting cryptocurrency, you aren't transferring a coin to someone, it is simply computing and deduction. Alice's wallet misses a coin and Bob's wallet obtains a coin. Transactions method This exchange and a blockchain registers the rearrangement of the ownership. In reality, you individually possess a 34-character public key and a 64-character private key that approve your entrance to the value. Although cryptocurrency demands numerical functions and depictions, these cryptographic designs need particular systems of people and foundations. The proposal of Tau is an innovative, an innovative consensus mechanism proof of transaction. It applies on-chain ancient stored transactions to ascertain who can introduce a new block. Block creation in Tau is still called mining like Bitcoin, but block compensation only comes in the framework of a transaction expense. Tau is a free monopoly chain that supports wiring is the only thing established, therefore, the transaction fee is the only revenue for miners. Tau block arrangement is created to boost mobile phone mining for decentralization. A total of 10 billion coins are created in the Genesis block, while the purpose is for each person to have a complete Tau. What is proof of burn? There is more than one version of proof of burn, but the concept of proof of burn idealized by Ian Stewart is probably the most acknowledged within the cryptocurrency space. It was proposed as a more sustainable alternative to the proof of work consensus algorithm. Essentially, proof of burn looks like a proof of work algorithm but with reduced rates of energy consumption. The block validation process of proof-of-burn-based networks does not require the use of powerful computational resources and does not depend on powerful mining hardware, like ASICs. Instead, cryptocurrencies are intentionally burned as a way to invest resources in the blockchain, so the candidate miners are not required to invest physical resources. In proof-of-burn systems, miners invest in virtual mining rigs, or virtual mining power. How does it work? In a few words, of power. 
How does it work? In a few words, the process of burning coins consists of sending these to a public verifiably address where they become inaccessible and useless. Typically, these addresses, aka EADS are addresses, are randomly generated without having any private key associated with them. Naturally, the process of burning coins reduces market availability and creates an economic scarcity, causing a potential increase in its value. But more than that, coin burning is another way of investing in the security of the network. The idea is similar to proof-of-burn algorithms. But instead of investing electricity, labor work, and computational power, proof-of-burn blockchains are supposed to be secured by the investment made through coin burns and nothing else. Similarly, to proof-of-work blockchains, proof-of-burn systems will provide block rewards to miners and within a certain period, the rewards are expected to cover the initial investment of the burn coins. Much analogous to how proof-of-work uses ASICs and computation to verify transactions, proof-of-capacity uses hard drives and storage. This approach provides a much cheaper and greener, thus more efficient and viable source of block verification. In Burst Coins implementation, instead of miners having to constantly change the block header and hash through the SHA-256 algorithm to verify a block proof of work, proof of capacity miners use a two-step system, plotting and mining. Plotting consists of creating a random solution, known as a plot, through the Shabal cryptographic algorithm and storing it on a miner's hard drive. Mining consists of miners reaching the solution, and whoever reaches it first, gets to mine the next block. The way that the space system avoids attacks is that it is through the lack of scarcity of hard drives. Hard drive Hard drives Hard drives are everywhere, and since they only serve as a medium of storage and not a medium of computation such as an ASIC miner, proof of work, it doesn't matter how much your hard drive can store. Proof of elapsed time. Proof of elapsed time consensus algorithm. In recent times, leading microchip manufacturer, Intel has been working on its propri proprietary consensus protocol, known as proof of elapsed time. The new standard is an integral component of the Hyperledger Sawtooth blockchain framework and is used to provide enclave in Intel's software guard extensions. Proof of elapsed time, an existing concept. The primary goal of the proof of elapsed time protocol is to maximize the utilization of resources while facilitating the efficient consumption of energy resources. Moreover, this standard leverages a fair lottery system to ensure the continued efficiency of the entire process. While proof of elapsed time is substantially promising, consumer reception is difficult to ascertain as of now. Currently, consensus algorithms are developed regularly. This makes it exciting to check on the new releases regularly. As of now, the market is dominated by two protocols, namely proof-of-stake and proof-of-work. These two standards are an integral component of the world's top two virtual currencies, Ethereum and Bitcoin, respectively. Nonetheless, this duopoly is likely to subside shortly, if the increasing number of new consensus methods is anything to go by. Irrefutably, proof of elapsed time is among the standout protocols that are competing with proof of work and proof of stake. The concept of proof of elapsed time was inaugurated two years ago by Intel, a renowned electronic microchip manufacturer. Back then, most people questioned the development of the protocol, since the company had no precedent of creating such products. However, its integration into the more massive Hyperledger Sawtooth project justified its establishment. How does it work? Similar to the proof-of-work model used by Bitcoin, proof-of-elapsed time aims to achieve a fair consensus. The difference between these two is that proof of elapsed time uses energy resources efficiently as compared to its alternative. This is accomplished by replacing Bitcoin's cryptographic puzzle with an algorithm that tones down or hibernates the mining hardware, thus consuming less power. 
Fundamentally, the proof of elapsed time protocol is based on the appointment of distributing leaders amongst the members of the ecosystem. The cost of regulating the election process must be proportional to its potential returns. Therefore, individuals who desire to contribute to this project are required to invest a substantial amount of money, as well as time. Furthermore, the legitimacy of every election must be validated by each member of the community. The Intel website has a detailed technical explanation of the working mechanism of the proof of elapsed time protocol, including its applicability in real-life situations. As mentioned earlier, proof of elapsed time is a component of the Hyperledger Sawtooth, a blockchain platform that offers the base for the development of distributed ledger projects. Its outstanding features, power efficiency, and compatibility will require most computers, are likely to contribute significantly to the mass adoption of this consensus algorithm. Rhythm Proof of work used by token Bitcoin, Ethereum, Litecoin, Dogecoin, etc. Proof of stake used by token Ethereum, EOS, Tezos, Dash. Proof of transaction used by token Lambda, Tau. Proof of burn used by token Slim Coin, TG Coin, Third Generation Coin. Proof of capacity used by token Burst Coin, Chain, Space Mint. Proof of elapsed time used by token Hyperledger Sawtooth. That's it in this video. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for our next video.